Alrighty, it's been a hot minute since we did this fender on this side. It's time for us to start tackling the other side. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it looks daunting on this one. This one's a little rough, not gonna lie. But the other one was really rough too. If we can get this fender at least half as good as this one, I'll be happy. So that's what we're gonna do. We have a game plan now on how to do these fenders off this one. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in this episode. Let's build the driver's side fender from scrap, from scratch. Welcome to High Hill Stable Garage. One thing that's nice about having one already done and leaving, you know, some notes on it as we were working is we have a general idea of what we have to do to that side with some minor tweaks because, you know, everything's a little uh, unique on this truck. But we know that we're going to have one piece right here. We're going to start welding on this right here to join it to our hood. We also know that we're basically going to move the whole wheel well over and we know that we're going to weld right across our hood on this so we have a segment we can already weld in and get done we can measure off of this and get our measurement on how much we have to go that kind of stuff so we're not playing in the dark on this we actually have a better situation than we did trying to figure out how to do it on this one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mark out the known cuts that we're going to have to do on that one and then we're going to start cutting and welding all right so here's the thing this side's a mess but i'll bring you guys in to what i could kind of lay out on this some known spots but the rest of it we're gonna have to work as we go because this panel is not equally rusted like the other one this one is much much worse so let me bring you guys in i'll show you guys what i kind of got going on so again we're basing it roughly off this fender right here but obviously they're not equally rusted so i have to work with what we have we're cutting this off this is the same as the other one this front area section that's all rotten away that's gone this is a good section right here we know that we are going to use that as a reference this section right here so we're keeping that we know that we shortened it by one inch outside line to outside line we're gonna do that shorten it by the one inch we also know where we stopped on that side for that main weld before we added that back triangle like looking piece it's right here we cut there this is where it gets interesting because on this fender we're rotten way further into this and obviously i can't weld to rust so basically i had to come in a little bit extra and we went down like that and then the bottom here is also rotted out so we'll have to cut that too the wheel arch i'm not going to cut just yet i think it's going to be better if we weld it to the truck figure out exactly what's going on and then we can cut it out and move it where we need to move it if it doesn't match 100 percent to that side like where the welds are I'm not overly concerned as long as 95% of the shape is the same at the end of the day. So without further ado, we're going to start cutting this guy up. So let's do that. There's lots of work. That should be plenty strong for us to build off this now. So let me wire brush that and let's start screwing around with that fender. I put a tack down there and I put a tack over here. So. We should be pretty much in line with what we have to be. Let me take you to the front. You guys are gonna like this. What do you think? 
it's looking pretty exact. I've measured off a few pieces here. We're only off by about an eighth of an inch on one side. The rest is that close. So we actually did really, really good for having to remake the complete front end, remake a fender from scratch, and now making another fender from scratch off everything that's not symmetrical or square. I think an eighth of an inch is definitely good for the ballpark. So. Now what we're gonna do, obviously we have a lot more work to do. So the next task that I think we should start to tackle is this wheel well. It doesn't have to go by a lot, but it does have to move over. So I think we're gonna tackle the wheel well right now. I'm gonna cut that out, move it over where we need to be, measure it all up. And I quite like how we did the old snap snap there. So with the snap of my fingers, this, is gonna be moved and tacked. All right, so I got that piece all welded in. I'll bring you guys in in just a second. But I already cut up this piece here. This is that big triangle piece that goes right there. Got a nice curve to it, kind of curved like that. Anyway, I'm just gonna plock him right there. Let me bring you guys in. I'll show you guys up a little bit closer. This is the piece I was talking about. I basically cut that one in, just kind of zoosed them in real quick. We added a couple hot tacks just on our corner piece. But yeah, this piece right here will slide just kind of in like that. And we'll do some cut and butt technique, you know, the basic stuff. But we'll weld that guy in. He follows the curvature real nice. And I'm just going to do a couple hot tacks on that. And then we'll see you guys on the front. So yeah, just hold on a second. So we have our piece here that we cut up. That's going to be our sliver that comes down right through here. We're just going to quickly tack this in and move through the rest of the pieces. So yeah, let's do that. We got the top piece all tacked in. That guy's all tacked in. We just got to do these little pieces right here. So let's start doing that right now. We got our other piece all tacked up there. Now it's just this one right here. I'm going to do that in two segments, kind of like on this side here. I think that's going to be the easiest way to do it, two small little ones. And then after that, it's just a bunch of welding. But let's start working on those two little guys. Alrighty, so we got all the pieces in. I actually tried my hand at doing it in one single piece and it actually turned out pretty good. I guess I'm getting a little bit better dollying on my block of wood. If you guys wanted to know, I guess I really didn't show it in this video. I showed it in the other video a little bit. This is how I'm bending up my pieces. I'm just kinda taking a panel putting it on after it's all marked and stuff. Got my normal round ball peen hammer type deal. And I'm just kind of hitting in it and it slowly adds a divot. You want to hit it on a wood so you can really smack it and the wood will give and the steel will bend. But that's how we've been doing all of our panels. So it's a lot of work and a lot of time consumption, but literally anyone can bend up panels that way, which is awesome. We got the whole piece in. We still got to finish weld that. But that fender's pretty much all done up. And that fender's pretty much all done up. Big milestone video for this, now that we have front fenders on this, that was the one of the last little panels I had to put in. For the overall look, you know what I mean? We still have to do a lot to this front end, like we still have to make it so then we can flip the hood back and all that stuff and do a bunch of finish welding. But that's okay. We have the just of exactly what we're dealing with. And you know what? I think it's turning out really, really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the two series that I had, part one and two, on driver's fenders for this. Literally building them from scrap, steel, trash, stuff that people wouldn't want. Showing you guys a little bit of a backwoods way on shaping some steel. I'll catch you guys in the next one really, really soon on hopefully the cab corners on this truck. See you guys.